This video is going to be a food tour. Mm. <laughs> Since Metro Vancouver has a lot of restaurants and cuisines, and it's quite impossible to cover everything in one video, we are going to be focusing on specific spots and neighborhoods. And in this video, it's going to be Stevenson in Richmond. Now before this video, we asked you guys on Instagram for your favorite food and restaurants in Stevenson. And you guys came back with a lot of suggestions. But the reality is, we can only fit so much in our bellies. Cheers! As much as we wanted to try them all, we only picked a few for this video. Hi! We are Nat and Max, and we love exploring British Columbia. After overcoming all the challenges in order to explore this nearby island from Vancouver, Push it with your belly! No, she's getting it! She's getting it! <laughs> we were finally able to tick that box and say, We've explored Bowen Island. We feel truly blessed to be living this close by the coast and have the ability to enjoy its beauty. So we thought for this video, we'll take you guys on a charming waterfront town and give you a small seaside food tour of Canada's historic park, Steveston, BC. Sadly, we don't currently have any modes of transportation at the moment because our car got broken into yesterday. We were walking right into our car yesterday and just noticed that one of the windows was broken and everything was a mess inside. But the good thing is, we don't really have any very valuable things inside the car. The only thing that went missing that is most valuable to us is the tent. Although it's not cool and we're not happy about it, we'd like to think positive and think of it as that person who got our tent has shelter tonight. Good thing Vancouver is very convenient with ride chairs. And I just booked the lift and he is two minutes away. Hi. Hello, how are you guys? Good, how are you? Steveston isn't that far from Vancouver. It was just a 20 to 30 minute ride from the city. While being a passenger on a lift is nice and comfy, it's not really the cheapest way of transportation. That costed us $20 to get here. We're happy that the sun is out because it's supposed to be cloudy today. First stop, Jimin Ramen. For our food tour, we have chosen G Men at Steveston Ramen Shop. We've always seen this restaurant very busy whenever we are in Steveston, so it's our first time to try it out. Also, for this food tour, to maximize the space in our bellies, we're gonna try to just order one dish per restaurant. So, we've ordered Choyu Ramen. It consists with light, authentic chicken, with clam and chicken broth, and homemade soy sauce seasoning. I'm kinda starving right now because we didn't have breakfast for this food tour. Let's dig in. Let's try this too. Mm. Chicken is very tender. I feel like I'm transported in Japan. It's so good. So if you guys wanted a little more stronger broth, we suggest getting the tonkatsu miso. But if you wanted something lighter, go for the shoyu ramen. And each of these ramen is about $12 to $18 depending on what you really want, which is not bad. Mm, I can taste the clam broth. I think there's a hint of juice in it. We've heard one of the traditions on eating noodles in Japan is you gotta slurp the noodles right in and not bite it, which is a little hard to do. That was a good start, right? Uh -huh. Now that we've warmed up, I think we're ready to eat something heavier. This next stop is a Filipino favorite. Oh, it's right there. You order there. Hello, can we get two piece? Combo special with macaroni. Just one, two piece of macaroni? Yes. 
Thank you so much. I got the goods. Wow, it's so nice here. So this next stop is just a to-go place and they currently have two branches here in Metro Vancouver but this one in Steveston is the original one and we're just seated right here in this lovely park and it's about a one minute walk from the shop. For our second stop, we got fried chicken from Win Win Chicken. Got the chicken. Filipino macaroni. Sadly, this is the first time that we're gonna try Win Win Chicken. We should have tried this one a long time ago because it's a Filipino joint. Filipino macaroni. So we ordered two fried chicken with a side, but the guy was like, the chickens are kind of small, so I'll give you another one. For the side, this is a Filipino style macaroni. Filipino style macaronis are sweet because we add sugar. Cheers. Mm, so crispy. Mm, and juicy too, right? Mm. This is the kind of chicken that you bring on a Filipino gathering. Mm -hmm. Since Jollibee isn't here in Vancouver yet, yet it's coming. This is the best thing for fried chicken. Mm -hmm. So this is the Filipino style macaroni. The unique thing about spaghettis and macaronis Filipino style is they add sugar, so it's kind of sweet. And we put hot dogs. gives you that taste that you kind of remember from your childhood. Any Filipino moms would probably know how to cook Filipino spaghetti. Yep. It's their go-to. <laughs> this meal costed $10 plus taxes. One thing we really love about walking around Steveston is it feels like you're walking in a movie set, right? Right, yeah, some of our favorite movies were shot here, like Home Before Dark, The Flash. So since the structure of the town is like conserved from the 1900s, some of the filmmakers are being drawn here. I don't think it's functional, but it's cute. I feel like we need a bit of a break on food, so we're gonna go explore the town. So we just went into one of their museums here. It's called Gulf of Georgia, and it's an official National Historic Site. The admission is about 10 to 12 dollars for the museum itself, but you're free to roam around the gift shop. The museum is quite big. Unfortunately, we don't have the time today, but we'll definitely be back. Wow, look at this grand entrance. I feel like walking down the aisle. <laughs> Hi, can we get one soft shell crab? So this restaurant is called Crab King and what's appealing about it is it's right by the dock. The restaurant itself is floating and you have this nice entryway to the restaurant. It looks so nice inside but apparently it's just to go this time. Thank, Thank you! you. So I think this is the first time that we're trying soft shell crab. So I think the crab doesn't look that big, small than my palm, but at least we got lots of rice. I think this is tartar sauce and some sweet and spicy sauce. Saw shell. Does that mean you eat the shell too? Yep. Yeah, I think I could chew this. Doesn't have like the hard shell of a normal crab. It's so soft. Let's dip it in tartar sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Kind of feels like it's the inside of the crab. They put batter on it and they deep fry it. It's like eating fish and chips. It is kind of like fish and chips, but you're eating a crab instead. 
Mm. That's so good. It's so good. So once you take a bite of the body, that's where you exactly can make the difference between a fish and chip and a crab. Because everything here is everything that you love in a crab. It's so soft and juicy. You got the tenderness. I love it. Those juicy fat. Plus the crispiness of the, the batter. If only the crabs were a little bit bigger, it will be perfect. So one crab plus side of fries only costed us $14. Mm. <laughs> Can I get a, a small screamer please? With a cream soda and vanilla? So since it's nice and sunny today, one of the things that we wanted to try here in Steveston is the Screamer. If you guys aren't familiar with the Screamer, a Screamer is part ice cream, part slushy. And from the words of the shop, you'll scream. Mm. That's so creamy. It's so good. <laughs> So this is, we chose the cream soda, that's why it's pink. And plus, it has like vanilla ice cream on it. Just the perfect combination, eh? Yeah. Mmm. No wonder there's a long line for this one. <laughs> Brain freeze. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nothing for me. Let's go. Wait. <laughs> that's why you call it a screamer. Because of the brain freeze. It's better using a spoon? I think so, because you can control the amount that you wanted to eat. If you use the straw, it goes straight to your brain. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so we just went into one of the well-known shops here. It's called Splash Toys and they have a variety of toys from all ages and a lot of puzzles. It smells so good. Hi. Can we get half a dozen? Sure. Is that in a cone or a box? Yeah, just a cone. Cone's fine. Sure. So these came from Outpost Mini Donuts, which I think is the only mini donut shop here in Steveston. This is half a dozen, which is just a variety of their flavors. The shop itself is very nice. You can smell the aroma of the donuts itself. As soon as you walk in, I think it's a little too warm outside, so the donuts are kind of sticking into the cone. So I think this one specifically is a Boston cream. The sprinkles are all mine. You got that cream in the chocolate over there. I love the sprinkles. Mmm! Freshly made. It's so soft. Still warm. And also, it's not too sweet. It's just right. So warm and fluffy. Do we get three each? Since it's half a dozen. Mmm! Uh -huh. <laughs> we got this for about five dollars for half a dozen. In order to get all the flavors, in order to taste all the flavors, you might need more than half a dozen because they have about 8 to 12 flavors, I think. This is maple sprinkle donut. Mm. What we really love about the mini donuts is it's just the right amount, right? And you get to taste all of the flavors with just one bite. As opposed to a regular donut when you get filled right away, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed this mini food tour here in Steveston and let us know in the comments section on what restaurants we should be covering next. And if you're new around here, make sure to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. It's taking a while. I think they're still trying to catch a crab.